to create a dashboard, you will need to first select the dashboard icon here, which will open up the dashboard plane where you can create and manage all of your dashboards. You can select one of our pre-configured dashboard templates, or you can go straight to a custom dashboard, which will land you on a blank canvas, as you can see here. Now you can select any one of our pre-configured widgets, or if you need to create your own, you can click on the custom link or the plus icon, which will land you on the creation page. There are currently two different types of data sets that can be selected, vulnerabilities or assets. This selection determines which data source and thereby which filters to populate. Once you've selected an option, the next step is to determine how you want to group or pivot the data, whether it's by plugin, by asset, or by CVE. We currently offer three different types of visualizations, a table, a ring, or a bar chart. As mentioned earlier, these filters will change depending on which data set you've selected and it also should match what you see from the volumes and asset grids. I'm gonna go ahead and select VPR. And as you can see, as I made selections, my update um, button enabled. So I'm gonna select update and you can see that the table has been updated now to only show VPR less than or equal to 10. Once I've defined my widget, I can then change which columns to show, how to sort, in what direction, and how many results to display. Lastly, if I wanted to change the order of the columns displayed, I can do so by first unselecting the columns, then selecting the columns in the order that I want to display. So I'm going to select asset first, BPR next, Vaughn third. And as you can see, the widget has updated with the columns in the order that I've selected. Once I've added the name to my widget, I can then save and exit, and it will get added to my widget library here. Once added to the library, I can add this widget to any of my dashboard be it a template or a custom dashboard. If I needed to come back and edit this widget, I can do so by selecting edit, or if I needed to delete the widget from the widget library, I can select delete. 